all of this, but I am going to ask that you just bear with us. Give us 10, 10, 12 more minutes, everybody, and we're done. So please, if you're doing homework, give us a, ch give us a chance. At this time, I'm going to ask that uh, a very impressive young man and group come forward. I'm going to ask that y'all give a hand clap for my brother O'Neal Thomas at this time. Come on, everybody. We're starting a For Him organization. And this young man, yeah. well, look at him, all that swag he got, all right? This young man is going to be leading that organization. Come on, put your hands together, that's right. O'Neal, at this time, without much further ado, O'Neal Thomas. Good morning, Oakwood. Good morning. Um, well, it's kind of tough to go at the end because you guys already got all the information from the different sections of For Him. But um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a quick section on our international mission. So I'm going to ask my brother, Bright, and my sister, what's her name? <laughs> Alice, 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 you know I love you, come on. Everybody say hello, Alice. And, and this is Bray. This is Bray. You, you don't gotta tell him hello. Um, but what we're gonna do, um, seeing as though we're caught up for time, I'm just gonna let them talk about their experience and then we'll finish up. So, ladies first. Oh, wait, hold on. My brother said the first shall be last. So. <laughs> aspect of For Him Missions, and I have a quick testimony. The second week of the For Him Missions, we were, the theology majors were conducting a revival, and um, I was privileged to speak to a church, 200 to 300 members, and um, it was actually communion service, and during that communion service, I realized that a lady came in to the church, and she was a petite lady, but she had a lump at the back of her neck. She had a lump at the back of her neck, and um, she sat at the back of the church. So then after preaching and after the communion service has been finished, um, the, elders, the elders were unctioning me to give an appeal. So then I gave an appeal for people to give their life to Christ. No one came. And then the pastor told me to give another appeal for the people who are sick sick in the church, whether it be physically sick, spiritually sick, emotionally sick, mentally sick. So then I gave that appeal and people came to the front. However, after the whole sermon has been done and we finished the communion service, the same lady that came to the church, bent over with the lump on her back, came with the elders to me and she looked at me and she said that, uh, the lump that she had, it wasn't there anymore. Oh my God. And, uh, she was standing up straight. She was telling me she, she's had that lump for over three years now. And I, and I know that there's no power in the sermon that I preached. I know there's no power in, 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 in anything that I did. But I want to tell you that Missions is not just about going, but it's about who you're connected with while you're going. Yeah. I, I, I don't want you to lose that. I, I want you to get that it's a connection with somebody that you're going with. So don't miss that. It's about a person. Praise the Lord. 
So if you're connected with Jesus Christ, he can do many things with you whilst you go. And this is a powerful testimony I just wanted to say with you. Amen. You see these blankets up here? I'm going to ask Caleb um, to give uh, Tori your Maasai blanket. Saran, I'm going to ask you to unveil your blanket and give that one to Picolia. And Saran and Candace will hold up the photos. Okay. Candace, come to this side so this side can see. These are some of the young people that we minister to. While we hold them up, hold them up high. These young, this young man was in the slums of Chuda, down in Mombasa. Isn't he, isn't he handsome? Okay. This young lady was in the slums of Mombasa. Now, isn't she beautiful? This young lady is deaf and she cannot talk. But here's her story. Her eyes are naturally blue. Come on, go that way so they can see them. Her eyes are naturally blue. And you know what she says? My eyes, since I cannot speak, and since I cannot hear, my eyes speak for the glory of God. Yeah. And by the way, photographers and graphic designers, this is not photoshopped. These are real. These are real. What we're talking about in missions and in service, are you experiencing a real God with real power? You heard someone say earlier, you don't have to be perfect. We told you last year, you can be messed up, but as long as you are willing to say yes, God will fix you up. And he'll transform you as you're transforming lives. These are Messiah blankets. Now, we're going to ask you to do something for us. We're going to ask you to do something for us. And we, 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 we're just a few minutes left. We want you to have a heart for service. That service could be LE, literature evangelism. That service could be reach, because we need that. That service could be local and, inter and, and national missions. But we need you to serve Oakwood. Agape Day is one day. Uh, we want service to be a lifestyle for you and not just a happen thing that you just do once in a while. We want it to be something that you are a part of. And we don't mind you singing. We want you to sing, Delaney. We want you to sing, okay? Elijah, we want you to sing. Sean, we want you to sing. We want all of y'all to sing. But we want you to also to know that you are blessed to be able to sing. Listen. These are people whose houses, whose houses are less than 10 feet by 10 feet. Their homes that they live in are made of mud, straw, yeah, and they are patched together with a little string. And you have to hear them give God the glory in song. You have to hear them praise. You have to hear them worship. It will change you. It will move you. Now, we were here and our group had a chance to pray for someone, a lady who had an abscess in her foot. Y'all remember that? Remember that chaplain Pierce? Remember that Miss Aisha? She had an abscess, an abscess in her foot about this large. A hole in her foot. And it was festering. You could see the flesh bubbling over. And what I'm so proud of with this group, just like Lash's group, any group, they prayed for her. They reached down and touched her on her head, on her arms, on her shoulders, and asked the power of God to flow through them, through us, to her. Come on, somebody. And on the spot, we raised 1,600 shillings, which was more than enough to take care of her medical bill. And understand, she did not have enough money. 1,600 shillings is what? How much that, is that in U.S. dollars? How much is that? Ten dollars. Wow. And ten dollars took her to the hospital, got her treated. Ten dollars. 
You know, medicine here costs $900 sometimes if you don't have insurance. You know, it's expensive here. $10. Now, some of y'all are sitting there and you're saying, to, you're saying to me, you're saying to us, come on, uh, Miss Aisha Chapman Pearson, come on up with me. Come on up. Come on up. Some of y'all are saying, we can get this here. We can get this right here. We don't have to do all of that. Let me tell you something. You want to see your life change, Jeremy? You want to see life, you want to see a perspective change in your life? This is what we're offering you, students of Oakwood University and friends. And by the way, your friends don't have, you can bring other people with you. They don't have to be Oakwood students. Amen. They can come. They don't even have to be. Now watch this. If you got family members and friends you care about back home, they don't have to be Seventh-day Adventists. They have to be willing to live with Seventh-day Adventist standards for three weeks. But we've taken over 400 people on these experiences. And this is not a trip. This is an experience. And I promise you, you have never, you don't understand what we're talking about. When we come here and we hear y'all praising on Friday nights and on Sabbath, we love it, it's beautiful. But wait till you go to the Mashimone Church in the slums of Kibera, where there are 650 people praising God and stomping on the ground with some of them with, with, with two liter um, Coke bottles and Sprite bottles on their feet. And they are giving God praise. That's all they got for shoes, Elijah. And when they open their mouths, the harmonies, Sasha, the beauty, the bass, the, and, the horn, and without all the drums, without all the guitars, without all the horns, when you hear it, you say to myself, you say, oh my God, is this what heaven's going to be like? Oh my God. Amazing, unbelievable worship. But the people, but the place it's coming from is such deep pain until it will blow your mind to believe that this smile could come from a girl who lives with 50,000 people in the slums of Judah and never, watch this, and has never seen running water in her life. Not one time. Never seen running water in their lives don't have running water to wash their hands after they go to the restroom. You want to experience something that's beyond? Join one of our mission experiences. We're, I'm here representing all of them, but for him, Kenya, for him, Ali, for him, National, reach all of it. We ask you to join us now. We would be remiss in, the, in this last minute if we didn't ask you, how many of you want to know that you can make a difference in somebody's life? Come on, come on, raise your hands for real. I see my religious vice out there, George. You want to you know that you can, make, you can make a difference in somebody's life. I'm going to ask you to do something for me. After we're done with our worship this morning, O'Neill, is there anything else? Um, just the last thing. After hearing all these different stories, whether it's international, local, or national, I want you to question yourself. How can you even think about going another day without mission? Um, the Bible says that we're supposed to go and love each one another. So guys, as Seventh-day Adventists, as Christians, I, I almost beg you to come out. To, to come and support for him, to come support your school, to show God that you love him. Could all the for him just come up for me real quick? So after we're finished here, um, I believe in the back, in, in the kitchen, we're, we're asking for those of you who want to take mission seriously, who want to go out and make a difference in your community, in your state, in your country, in your world, if you want to make that difference, just come out to the kitchen that is... This side. No, it's on this side. It's somewhere. <laughs> that way. Um, come out. Talk to us about mission. And we have something to give to you. We have a special treat for you. Um, so just come out, talk to us. Whether, you know, if you're not... 
If you don't want to go to international mission, but you want to do national, or you want to do local, or you just want to do reach, come out and do mission. Or, oh, sorry, or LETC. Yes. <laughs> um, but yes, we are for him, and we support for him, and we support Open University. Thank you. As we get ready to close, thank you, O'Neill. Again, um, we want you to see some of our students in action. Tori Reading at the Canaan Orphanage. Go next. Washing clothes and washing babies at the Canaan Orphanage. There we go, keep going. Next. George Johnson Reading at the Canaan Orphanage, at the Abner Orphanages. There he is, O'Neill, the cover shot of Oakwood Magazine. Saran, not Sharon, playing with a boy. That's okay, that's okay, William, I love you anyway. Having fun. There's Alice. And one of the greatest things about this experience, everybody, as you look at Picolia at the medical camp, is the relationships you form with each other. We are leaving for Kenya, write this down, May 27th. The mission trip, that's, okay, okay, y'all know him? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's me having fun, okay. Okay, and that's us praying for the lady who had the abscess in her foot. We didn't want to show it to you because we know that it can gross you out or whatever, but, but believe me, it was something to experience, okay? That's us, me and Miss Aisha, reaching out, praying for her. Okay, next. That's Bright preaching, a speaking. There's Trina Lawrence cutting up some cabbage at the orphanage, amen, Trina. Look at that face. And then finally, okay. You wanna make a difference, come to the kitchen. The mission trip to Kenya, the mission trip to Kenya is May 27th through June 17th. Don't worry about finance, ask God to increase your faith. And you watch God do something amazing, like he did for 23 students who went to Kenya this year. Let's stand for closing prayer, everybody. You want to meet us in the kitchen? Trust me, you want to do that. You want to do that. You want to do that, okay? Let's bow our heads for prayer, everyone. Father, we thank you so much for the gift of ministry, of missions and service. We love you, God. And Lord, we're so grateful that you've given us the capacity to love. To love people here, to love people over the seas, to love people in our neighborhood, to love our families, and yes, God, to even love ourselves. We thank you for Missions Emphasis Day here at Oakwood University. All that we do, we do for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen everybody. Give God some glory. Okay. So meet us in the kitchen, those of you. The first 100, the first 100, you want to meet us in the kitchen. I promise you that. You want to meet us in the kitchen.